I think the creators of Saturn have an immense responsibility to make it so that it does no harm to middle and high schoolers, specifically as their target audience. The Saturn app creates digital communities for schools across the country. One of the largest high schools in the tri-state, Mason, showed more than 1,800 people using Saturn. On the app, teens can upload their exact schedule, adding each subject down to the teacher. The app lets teens share schedules, direct message, and post on a community board for everyone to see. Users can also link other social media, including Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, even Venmo. You go through all the different what could go wrong scenarios when this kind of detailed information is known about where every student is during the day. The app verifies students using their phone number and school email address. While Saturn is intended for students 13 and above in high school, parents, schools, and internet safety experts like Chris McKenna raise the alarm about privacy issues. I'm a 40-year-old man. I had visibility into all of the kids at a school anywhere in the country who were using this application. Concern across the country pushed the app to make changes this weekend. Saturn says it has strengthened its verification process, limiting access for non-verified accounts. Other students' profiles, direct message, and the bulletin are no longer accessible without verification. There is also an option to make a profile private. McKenna still has concerns about how people can manipulate the app. Even as an unverified person, I can see what classes are at a school. He also worries about cyberbullying. To be able to broadcast information broadly within the school that could be disruptive or misinterpreted or weaponized against other kids. Now Saturn says it moderates content and may contact school administrators or law enforcement if necessary. As many kids head back to school starting this week, some local districts tell me they are aware of the app. Now McKenna's best advice for parents is to have a conversation with your kids. If they're on the app, ask them why they want to use it and have them think about the risks that could come with it. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.